Hello everyone! Today we're playing Taijo. This demo is, so far, the most fun thing I've played uh, from Steam Greenlight. I really, uh, really enjoyed it so far, so let's just get started and see what it's all about. Alright, that's Taijo. He's a tiny man in a spacesuit. He can jump, and he can shoot. That's really all he needs to do. As we kill enemies, little red and blue glowies fly out of him. That's experience, we collect that, like it says. We do this to fill up the two bars in the upper right hand uh, corner of the screen. When the red bar reaches its maximum, our weapon power upgrades. When the blue bar reaches its maximum, we get another life. We can see our lives in the upper left hand corner, represented by those shields. There's a timer, so I guess this is the kind of game that would uh, encourage speed runs, because it is pretty short. I don't know if this game, if it came onto Steam, would there be more to it, or if this is all there is. You're probably going to hear the uh, keys on my keyboard getting wailed on during this game, because it doesn't have gamepad support, just keyboard. And it works fine, but it's pretty loud, so you're probably going to be hearing that a lot during this. I like the look of the game. I like the music. It The music, well, as you'll hear as we go on, it kind of reminds me sort of, uh, sort of like Genesis music. What certain third parties uh, that could get really good music out of the Genesis were able to do, like a uh, like a Sunsoft game. That's what the music reminds me of, I think. All right, we got translucent tiles right there. Let's jump over those. Don't want to go in there quite yet. Nothing in here but two enemies, but we do want to kill them because uh, because of the way the experience. Uh, system works, even if it might be dangerous to go after additional enemies, we do want to do that because the more enemies we kill, the more powerful we get. Now we fight a giant raisin, spitting lots of little raisins at us. It's our first boss. There seem to be a, a good deal of secrets in this game as well, because apparently there are two bosses in this level, but I have not been able to find the second one. Big raisin is no trouble, though. Yeah. Oh, we got a weapon power-up, because our red meter hit maximum. See, it says boss, a boss is defeated one out of two, and only met one. Alright, now the music gets really good. Okay, we got a double jump. We get an ability, a new ability, every time we finish a level. Our stats, our lives, and our weapon power carries over into each level. So, the more lives I'm able to conserve and the more weapon power I'm able to get now will benefit me once I reach the end of the game. Alright, one element of this game is... Oh, dodge that. It's part bullet hell. Ah, I didn't get hit. So even though it's a platformer, bosses have elements of bullet hell shooters to them. And that'll become a lot more evident as we get further on. This is another level that has multiple bosses, but one of them I can't find. Ah. Alright, so you saw that blue shield that appeared over me. I lost a life because I touched an enemy. So we lose a life after one hit. No health meter. That's why I do want to kill as many enemies as we can, so we can get as many lives as we can. That's going to come in very useful as we go through this. Yeah. Alright, so being followed by a big energy wall. So even though I would want to kill all these enemies and get their exp... Ah, lost another life. Probably better just to run. Okay, my weapon powered up again. You can see it keeps getting bigger every time I do that. In that way, it kind of reminds me a little bit, a little bit of Blaster Master. 
I mean, the game does not play like Blaster Master, but the way it looks kind of reminds me of when you were outside the tank uh, in the overworld, outside of dungeons. Play a really small little man in a helmet. And in that game, as you continued on, you were able to increase your gun power as well. Though in that game, if you uh, took hits, it decreased your gun. This game it doesn't seem to be any way to decrease your weapon power. So that's permanent, anything we get. Yeah, I can't figure out how to get up there. You can see a portal up there, and then in the second hallway, on the left, looks like a translucent wall. But I can't seem to find any way to get up there. And I assume that there is a boss that I'm missing. Because if we go in here, doesn't seem to be any other way to go except this one way. That leads us to the main boss of the level. Even though I would much prefer if this game had gamepad support, it does feel good to, pl ah, good, good to play as it is, very fun. Okay, there we go. A lot of light tapping on the keyboard to try to evade those shots. Okay, we got, a sh we got shurikens. Shurikens are homing weapons, not as powerful as our main gun, but we don't have to aim with them, which is good because we'll need it for this level. See the shurikens going off to the sides. This level is where things get a lot more bullet hellish, and I'm not going to... At this point, I'm not really going to be looking at the enemies, but rather at my character to see if I can dodge whatever's coming at me. Ah, colors. Nah, I got hit. Even though that thing's shooting at me, I still do want to take the risk of jumping up to pull the X towards me. Yep, power up again. So I really don't know anything about the... Uh, background of this game or who made it, if they've made anything else. This one kind of took me by surprise, because the green light page, there really was not much there, just one screenshot and a video, and a link to a demo. So I'm glad I took a look at it, but they could be advertising this a lot better. Ah, almost got through that without getting hit. I'm doing not bad, though. I still do have plenty of lives and haven't used any continues yet. You have, uh, I think it's three continues throughout the whole game. So I'm not doing too badly. He starts moving, uh, starts moving around, You're gonna try to follow him to get, get that X. Um, kind of difficult to talk and play this at the same time. Well, I don't know if there's really much I have to say, I think this is pretty self-explanatory just watching it. A little too close. Weapon power up, good. I'm not really using it right now since... Okay, there we go. Since all my shots were really with the shurikens. Alright, no secrets in that level, it looks like. You got a new ability, the dash. Oh, really? I'm happy I have gotten this far without needing to use a continue, though. Alright, so our final ability, the dash. Like this. We jump, we can dash. And we're invincible when we do it. Though the main problem with the dash is making sure that wherever we stop is not somewhere that will kill us. That's, that's happened to me many times. Where I've dashed through something and then by the time I've stopped the dash, there's something there that can kill me. Ah! Bones. So much stuff on the screen, it's kind of hard to see where anything is. Just gotta kinda, gotta 
kind of got to keep track just on my own character and not on anything else. Hmm. Oh yeah, that did not go well. Only down the down only one life. Okay, next boss, big pixelated bat. Basically, the idea here is that we just have to dash through these things, and we have to be careful on uh, whether or not we'll be able to survive once the dash stops. Mm. Ah. You see what I mean at... did there was a uh, when I stopped the dash I was in the middle of one of those lines oh, okay got to continue let's see that was one I forget if it's if it was two or three that I get I didn't see what the number said this boss we don't actually have to beat he can get away but if he gets away we won't get the exp uh, he got away All right. at least I got a little bit though Again, I really like the music in this game. Uh, time for the next boss. He's a little guy like ourselves. He's little. He can shoot a whole lot more than we are, though. He's got a sword. Why don't we have a sword? Ah. Again, the shuriken, very useful, because... For much of this battle, I can't not even sure where he, either he or I are. Mm. Okay. All right. That boss is down, and now it's actually time for the last level. Get ready. This boss requires a lot of use of the dash. So basically, you better have gotten accustomed on, uh, on how to use it in the previous level, or you are in some trouble. And kind of a risk to jump up to get the exp, but... Try to go for it. Mm. Okay, so now, oh, he's not quite done. I want to keep the weapons on as we go through this to get as much X as possible to get our lives back up. Which we've been doing pretty well so far. All right, time for the next phase.
Mm, forgot about that. It's a good thing. I collected so many lives so far. I still gotta continue. Ah! I'm not. Ugh. Already. That's my last continue. I'm not sure. I'm not actually sure I'm supposed to dodge that. Ah. Oh. Just barely. I actually think I got hit on that last one. But not. anyway, that's Taijo. Uh, no ending or anything like that. Um, so I don't know what else there might be to this game if it does go on to Steam. It does say that there are some things here that are not in the demo. But I don't know what those would involve. Uh, but what is available here is a lot of fun. I really like it. Very simple, uh, but challenging. And it's the sort of thing that you... that lends itself to playing it over and over to try to get better, to try to increase your time. Uh, but I really like it, and I would like it if this was expanded upon, and if if more was added to it. So hopefully, I don't know, if it gets, does get added to Steam, maybe something like that could happen. But uh, I really like the aesthetic, the pixel look of it, and I really like the music. It really, uh, that style of music really, really does it for me. So, so far, this has been the most fun thing I've seen on Steam Greenlight. That's Taijo, and I suggest uh, checking it out.